Is the new Huda Beauty pressed powder as good as the loose powder? Today I'm going to try this one for the first time. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist and a makeup lover and in this channel I always share content about makeup. And today I'm going to do a review of this one, a wear test as well, see if this is a really good product or not. And I'm also going to come back tomorrow to show you a side-by-side -side of the two powders. So if you want to know everything about this one, just keep on watching. If you follow me in here for a little bit, you know that one of my favorite powders is the Uda Beauty one, the loose one. So I'm really excited to see if the new Easy Bake is as good as this one. I always use this one when I wanna try new products because I know how it works. I love it, love everything about it. So I'm really excited to see what she bring to the table this time. So before I start applying, I wanna talk a little bit about the product, what the brand says that this one does. Here in the website, they say a pressed powder with a luminous matte finish designed for targeted brightening to instant snatch your face. It's a talk and fragrance free product. It's speed baking, it's medium to full coverage. It has a eight to nine hours wear. It's sweat and humidity resistant. This one has hyaluronic acid and avocado. So it's going to give us a creamy and non-drying, incredibly soft and silky texture to create a bright lifted and filtered finish. This one has a little sponge in here. So we are going to see and I hope it's the product. This one does shine control and it doesn't do flashbacks. So as I told you, this is like my favorite powder. I say that it's my favorite, even though I really love also the Vanessa Marix one, but I have this one for longer. I have to say that this is my baby because it also was the first powder that I bought. And normally I am someone that prefers loose powders, but I'm really excited to see if this pressed one is good. The color that I bought, it's the same one from the loose powder. It's the pound cake. It has a little sponge. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use one of mine. So I'm going to apply it with a puff that I have that it's from Chanel and I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes. The first thing that we can see is that it gave a little bit of light underneath the eyes. I'm liking it. Also apply it here under bronzer on the other eye as well. I have to say that like for the first application, for the first impressions, I am liking it. I think that it's giving a lot of light to the skin. And on the rest of the skin, I'm just going to do little taps with the product, just so the makeup doesn't go anywhere. I think that the skin is looking very beautiful. Not too powdery or anything like that. I am really loving it. One of the things that I wanted to see is if this one has the same scent as this one that I love. I think that it has an amazing scent, but from what I'm seeing, it doesn't. It doesn't have any scent. So for the people who didn't like this powder because of the scent, because of the allergic to fragrance, I think this would be a good one for you to try because you might like it. I am feeling my skin like very light. It's almost like I don't have anything on the skin. I applied it also on top of the blush and on top of the bronzer, but it didn't take away a lot of the product. So I think that you still can see the bronzer, the blush. I think that the skin is looking beautiful. So I'm really, really happy with that. I feel like my skin is blurred. It doesn't have pores, like a little bit, but it doesn't emphasize them. I think that it gives a natural finish to the skin. That's something that I like, but I really wanna see how this one goes uh, like during the day. I'm not going to apply any setting spray because I really wanna see how the powder is on the skin. So we will see if it works well or not. I'm going to come back in the end of the day, show you how it's looking, if I'm liking or not, if it emphasizes the fine lines or something like that. For the moment, I don't see that it does. I have this one in here that normally emphasizes and it's starting to show a little bit, but nothing too much, nothing too crazy but I wanna see how it looks in the end of the day. I'm going to go and I'm going to come back to show you how the makeup looks. So I'll be right back. Guys, are you liking the video? If you are, don't forget to click on the thumbs up button. I am back. 
it's been nine hours since I'm wearing the powder and they say on the website eight to nine hours so I think that it was enough for me to show you how my skin is looking. When it was like six hours of wearing the product I looked at my skin, I take the photo and I'm going to leave it here so you can see and I don't see much difference between the six and the nine from what I'm seeing right now. What I feel is that right now I have a little bit more of glow on the skin. The oils are starting to appear a little bit more than at six hours. But in this moment after the nine hours, what I feel is I was expecting it to look better underneath my eyes I hope that you can see there on the camera it's not looking very beautiful underneath the eyes when I use this one I don't remember that my under eyes in the end of the day look like this like I really loved it when I applied it I think that it gave a lot of light underneath the eyes in here as well I still can see a lot of light underneath the eyes but I don't like how they look so dry. In the afternoon, I was against a pillow. I was watching a movie on my couch. So it's normal that some parts in here are not looking as good or anything like that. But like underneath the eyes, I didn't rub my eyes or anything like that against the pillow. I was hoping this one was better. I was expecting more because of how much I love the loose powder. I want to come back tomorrow and do a side by side of both of the powders so we can see how they look uh, against each other like on my skin and like come back again in the end of the day just so you can see how it looks. I don't want this video to be too long, but I think that it's important for you to see and for you to know if this powder is it really worth it or not so i see you tomorrow and now for the question of the day i want to know which is your favorite type of powder pressed powder or loose powder i am back it's the next day and as i told you i'm going to be trying the two side by side so we can see how they look so i will do the right side with the loose powder and the left side with the press one and I'm going to apply both of them with the same puff that I used yesterday this one in here from Chanel so I will start with the loose powder first two little taps with this one let it bake a little bit and also apply here the same places that I applied yesterday and I'm going to let it sit for a little while in the skin while I apply the other on the other side Now with a brush I'm just going to take the excess of the loose powder. With this one they say that you don't need to do like the baking. What I can see like on the first impressions looking at myself in the mirror is that the press one does give a little bit more light than the loose one. I think that you can see there as well this size a little bit more light than this one even though this one is looking beautiful as well. Here we also can see that it's a little bit more light than on this side. So what I feel is this one gives a little bit more light than this one. In terms of looking, they look very similar in terms of texture of the skin. What I'm going to do is on the rest of the skin, I'm going to apply powder just like pressing in one side and in the other using on this one the same, the loose powder, and on this one, the pressed. Just with little taps, applying a little bit of the powder so we leave the makeup where we want it, so it doesn't go anywhere. What I want to do today is apply just a setting spray just to see how the skin looks at the end of the day in one side and on the other because yesterday we saw that this side, that it was all over, <laughs> didn't look very well. So I want to see how it looks. I'm going to apply this one in here from Urban Decay. For the moment I'm loving both sides, I think that they are looking very beautiful but yesterday when I applied this one I also thought that. I want to tell you my opinion after a few hours of using this one, come back in a few hours to tell you my opinion. So I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back. It's been seven hours since I applied the products. I think that it's a good time for me to show you. Yesterday we did nine so today we are going to do seven and I want to show you how my skin is looking first so then I can tell you what I'm thinking. I hope that it's visible there on the camera that underneath the eyes they are looking different 
one side and the other the left side the one that I use the pressed one it's seeing so much more the fine lines than on this one on this one I don't see anything what I thought that it was true it is the pressed one is going to get more in the fine lines than the other I apply both of them the same way with the same puff everything they are both in the same conditions I apply the setting spray on both sides I really was hoping that this one looked better today and I think that it's looking better than yesterday at the six hours mark so I'm happy with that but comparing the both sides I like this one more I really love this powder I think that it's so so perfect my skin is still looking beautiful in terms of oils showing in the skin I also feel like this one is a little bit more matte than this one I think that on this side I can see more the oil starting to appear than on this one I hope that you can see that on the camera if I had to choose between one or another I would really choose this one. I'm not going to say that the other one is bad or anything like that, but still the favorite one is the loose powder, my baby, my first powder. And I was really rooting for the other one because one of the things that I love about the other one is that it gives so much more light than this one. So I'm a little bit sad because of that, but I'm not saying that the other one is bad nothing like that just comparing the two if you have the two and if you were like considering buying this one because you thought it would be better than this one i don't think that it is but if you still want to try it and have it on your collection use it i think that you are going to like it as well but this is the one that takes the crown i hope that you liked this video that this was a helpful one to you for you to know if this is a good product for you or not and if you don't want to miss any of my other videos here on my youtube channel don't forget to go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell and if you like this one give it a thumbs up i'm also going to leave down there the other social media that i use so you can go there and follow me as well now that we are in the end of the video i just want to thank you so much for being here for watching my video until the end and i hope to see you on my next one bye